Hey guys, we are back again. This is our last episode for the month of July. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this series on choices. Uh, we've been talking about the choices that we make, who makes our choices. And today we are going to talk about the why behind the choices that we make. Hey guys, this is Crew Equipped. This is a youth ministry out of Faith Walk Harvest Center in Carpentersville, Illinois. But you know us by now, but I just had to drop it. And since it's the last episode of the month, do us a favor, like and subscribe and share. We love to love to hear your feedback. So leave some comments down below too, and we'll get back with you. All right, so let's get right into it. So why do we make the choices that we make? In the first episode of the month, we talked about how the culture drives a lot of the choices that we make. How we were raised and where we were raised drives a lot of the decisions that we make. But if we're honest, it's more than that. Again, it could be music, the music we listen to. It could be how much money we have. It could be the friends we're around. It could be the movies we watch. It could be the sports that we play. They all shape the choices that we make. And here's why. We have the ability in our own lives to walk in acceptance or walk in fear. I know that's kind of like, what in the world are you talking about? So a lot of us go to school, or maybe you don't go to school and you're watching this, but you interact with somebody in some form or fashion, whether you go to work or whether you, you know, are in some social club or anything. But, well, let's just focus on that, those that are going to school right now. You go to school and you dress like you dress because of fear of looking different. Some people don't mind looking different. But some people pick the clothes that they're, wear, they're, they're wearing because they don't want to be different. They want to be accepted. They want to be accepted by their friends. We all have an internal um, feeling or knowing because we want to, like, fit in. We want to not be rejected. It's natural. It's a part of who we are. But when we chase after being accepted, and we chase and we actually walk in fear of not being accepted, when it comes to certain environments and certain things, it could be dangerous. So we have to be really careful with understanding that what we choose and the choices we make can lead to a very, 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 very negative situation. And so I want us to look at Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And I want us to make this our why behind the choices that we make. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That is by far like one of my favorite scriptures and one of the scriptures that I've like put to memory because it keeps me grounded in my choices. So when I think about the scriptures, this scripture, it makes me ask myself, are the choices that I'm making presenting myself or presenting my body as a living sacrifice. In the Bible, sacrifices were something that was very common. They would take um, animals and they would uh, sacrifice them on the altar, meaning they would, you know, kill them for the sake of their gods or et cetera. And then God himself would, before Jesus, because he was the ultimate sacrifice, there were things and rituals that they had to do in the Old Testament in order to sacrifice for their sins and, and, and put offerings in, uh, on the altar for their sins. Well, when Jesus came, he did away with all of that. He became the perfect sacrifice. But we still have a responsibility in this. The Bible tells us that we are to present our bodies as living sacrifices, meaning we ain't trying to, like, out nobody, okay? 
God wants us to live, but he wants our actions to show that we are willing to sacrifice fitting in. We are willing to sacrifice the fear of not being accepted by man standards or the world standards or by our friends or by the people that uh, are we consider the in crowd or whatever it may be just because we want him to be pleased with our lives. It goes on to say that it is our reasonable service. That means that's the least we can do because God has done so much for us. The least thing we can do is say, look, I'm going to be a living sacrifice. Yes, my girls may, you know, get tattoos, but I'm not going to get a tattoo because I'm a living sacrifice. And I want, I'm, I'm not afraid of standing out. I'm not afraid of being different. I'm not afraid of not being accepted. My, my friends may, you know, smoke weed, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to walk in fear because of people like saying that, this is what, sh- what you should do, or, this, or, or peer pressure says, oh, you don't, you don't do this? Or I'm not going to use language that I know I'm not supposed to use. I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to use profanity. I'm not going to down somebody and talk about somebody because I walk in fear of not being accepted. I refuse to do that. And so what I would like for us to do today is make the commitment that our choices will be a living sacrifice unto God. It will be holy and acceptable unto him because that's the least we could do for our God. He literally sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. Like, that is the ultimate sacrifice. He gave up his life. He got beat. He was abused for us so that we could live again. So every time you think about some choices that you you have to make, and it's a, a decision between the fear of being accepted and the fear of not being accepted, Take take the choice. Make the right choice, please. I'm begging you, make the right choice. Ask yourself, is this a living sacrifice type of choice? Because that's what God is calling for. So, hey, guys, we've enjoyed this entire month on choices. We would love for you to join us in person. We are here every Sunday at um, in Carpentersville, Illinois. If you want more information, leave a comment below. And, you know, we'll get back to you, let you know how you can connect with us in person. We're here. We're alive. We're doing great things with our youth group, with the ministry. um, And we would love to engage with you. So check us out. Come check us out on Sundays. And we would love, and Wednesdays, by the way. We're here every Wednesday, too. But, hey, if you don't do nothing else, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Hey, until next month, we love you guys. Continue to enjoy your summer because guess what? It's almost over. And if you live in the Midwest, you know, we try to hold on to summer as long as we can. So enjoy your summer. But remember when you're enjoying your summer, make the right choices that give glory to God and show him that you are a living sacrifice. We love you.